Hey, what's going on, Matt? So I've taken a look through home cleaning, and the reason is we also run a local um, SEO agency for home service businesses called hvac-seo.com. And it's so cool to see other guys, especially younger guys in the home servicing industry. Um, and I also think there's so much potential here. So just a bit about us, so you can see like why why I think this is so cool. Is like, for example, this is one of our clients in the HVAC industry. You can see just in the last three days, we've brought them in 17 new phone calls. These are people calling them, dialing them up on the phone. They've added an extra third, almost 14% in total revenue just in the last 90 days alone. And so I've taken a look through um, Tampa Bay cleaning through.com. And here's a couple of the things. Um, this isn't really that important. I just thought I should point this out is on one of your pages. Um, I'm not sure how many people are coming in mobile verse um, laptop view. There was a few of these um, ticks that hadn't loaded correctly, but I'm not sure where that's gone. Um, if it, if we find it, then we can see that again. I think it might be this page. Uh, it's not a huge thing. I thought I'd just point that out while we do this. But anyways, what I wanted to show you is the potential of SEO. And essentially, this is the potential. Being able to add an extra almost 14% revenue in 19 days just with Google. So what I did was I went through Tampa Bay Cleaning Crew. And I'm going to just point out what I think I would do if I was in your shoes and why I think so. So it's um, already you way further ahead than pretty much any other cleaning crews building up the services page, having a blog section. These are like two of the biggest assets you're going to use, especially, you know, to go from zero to one with your SEO on Google. So as you can see, obviously there's not much initially. This is very standard SEO it takes a while before you really get the ball rolling. Um, although there are ways to speed it up and this is probably the best way to get traction with local businesses. So let's say we want to rank for home cleaning Tampa, right? Because Google's already kind of picked this up on um, your website. And we can see there's a few, you know, cleaning Tampa, home cleaning services, etc. But all in like the 50th to 60th to 70th position. So these really, you know, that's pretty like it, nobody's scrolling that far on Google. So they're not going to perform or do that much for you just yet. Um, so what this is, is it's called a bottom up SEO approach. And essentially what that is, is you're going to create these sort of services, even micro locations, you might go to smaller areas within Tampa, etc., And you're going to build out all these pages for individual services. Um, they're going to be quite thorough, quite in depth. And you just, you know, you, you can duplicate your current theme, current pattern, and just focus on that specific keyword. Then what you do is you're going to start using the blog section to create a pillar strategy. And I'll show you how that looks. Let me move this out the way. So this is a Palacio strategy. But you've got a main article, and then you've got four supporting articles, and it creates basically like a pillar. And so in this case, we're going to be speaking about like home cleaning Tampa, or maybe just the home cleaning industry, or specific places within Tampa. We want to ideally target this keyword or certain parts of this keyword and build site authority. And the easiest way to build site authority is with articles. So, you know, we can look at questions, um, other keywords, other competitors, see what they're doing, what sort of articles they're targeting. Another way is I put up an incognito tab and just typed in home cleaning Tampa. So, of course, the pages that are coming up here, these are landing pages, service pages. But what we can do is we can scroll into the people also ask section. And this is a great way to see what sort of questions or what, what questions Google attributes to this keyword. So, for example, how much does it cost to clean a house in Tampa? Beautiful article right there. You can answer that. You can start knocking away at some um, search authority. And how you want to structure this is you want to have like two or three questions. In, in local business, you're going to look at more questions. And you just keep building these out. You look at what people are asking around the keywords and you build very short targeted articles to these questions. Main article is just going to be something very general. It can even sort of just be like, what is the home cleaning services or how does it work? It's just something quite general. This one's not going to matter too much. And you're going to build out less equals. So this might be top 10 home cleaning services in XYZ, uh, in Tampa, in the States, you know, whatever. Um, and you build out these articles. But what you do is you're always going to internally link this page as the first link in all of them. And you're sort of going to link all these articles into one another. Somehow you're going to just create a bunch of web and you want to have at least five links in each article. And what you do is then by linking this landing page as the first link in all these pages, you're now going to really improve the ranking for the keyword you want on this transactional page. And what that does is that way you can, you know, go from 50th position 
and bumped it all the way up to getting the top 10. And then it's going to sort of be just refinements that get you into the top ranking position. And about 80% or even high, about 90% of all the search around one keyword goes into the top three results, the top three organic results that come up. So you can imagine how important it is to rank for a keyword such as home cleaning Tampa or um, home cleaning near me if you're in Tampa, because these are the sort of searches that your customers are searching for to actually go and make a purchase. And that's why although the traffic here might not be insane, they're getting 17 phone calls and they're adding that extra revenue is simply because people actually are searching keywords or searching for search terms that they want to act on. They want to make a purchase on. Um, I'll even show you, we can look at a, these guys also, they, they're in the removals niche. Just in the last 90 days, they've had 10,673 clicks. Their whole business is built on SEO. And out of these 10,000 clicks, they're getting about um, 20 phone calls every single day. And out of those 20 phone calls, I mean, I'm not entirely sure what their like, conversion rate number is, but their whole business is built on it. And that's why in the home service business, it's so important to have like a strong SEO foundation. And I think with Tampa Bay Cleaning Crew, you can totally crush it, man. And the best way is literally just like find every single one of these keywords um, that you want to rank for, implement the strategy, build up the transactional landing page for each keyword, um, and just, you know, identify and just rinse and repeat this. And then there's a few other things uh, we can look on. We can even chat about it if you want to have a, a quick chat. We can point out a few other things where you can get some quick W's, but this way is probably going to make you the most amount of money.